Okay, so I just got back from a weekend uh, leadership retreat and I packed in just a carry-on because I flew and that is huge for me because I'm usually quite the overpacker, um, but I wanted to try to get it in a carry-on and I was able to and so I thought I would show you how I packed to be able to do that, okay? So this is just a um, hard-sided suitcase that is carry-on size. The brand is Rockland, and I'll link in the description to the actual suitcase itself. It has um, one of the, you know, you can unzip it and expand it a little bit, um, but I left that zipped for the trip there because I knew I'd be coming home with, with more stuff than I left with, and so I wanted to be able to expand it and add a little bit on the way back. Um, so this is just in its smallest setting. Um, so on this side, where it zips up like this, um, I use packing cubes to pack my clothes. It helps keep everything organized, and I roll my clothes to um, minimize the amount of space that they take up. So I've got, at the top, I have um, a pair of shoes and another pair of Chacos and my makeup. Under that I had a, um, a bag to use for like dirty clothes or wet shoes, that kind of stuff on the return trip. And then I had a ball cap in there. We visited a farm the Young Living Lavender Farm in Mona, Utah. So that's, you know, I had the ball cap and the Chacos. And then I also wore a pair of black leather sandals to fly in, and then I used those throughout the week as well. So in this packing cube here, I have my four main outfits while we were there. So I had a pair of jeans laid on top, and then my four outfits. I had, um, you know, obviously I was wearing what I flew on on Thursday, and then I had a dress for our event Thursday night, and an outfit for um, the farm Friday, which was the jeans, um, and then they provided us shirts, and then an outfit for Friday night when we got back from the farm and went out to eat Saturday, um, our sessions, and then Sunday flying home. So just mostly four outfits, plus what I was wearing, plus my jeans. Then on the other side. Um, I had the this top bag here. This is a very bra very Bradley toiletries bag, and that has all my non-liquid toiletries in it: hairbrush, comb, uh, that sort of toothbrush, that kind of stuff is in here. Had this little bag that um, doubled as a clutch for the um, night that we had a little bit of a nicer dinner, but I also filled it with all of my jewelry that I was taking and used it as that. My curling iron, I did not take a hair dryer because I knew that the hotel would have one. And then in these two small packing cubes, this top one here, that had t-shirts and yoga pants to use um, as pajamas or for hanging out in the hotel at night. And then the bottom one had my bra, um, underwear, tank top, camis, and um, an extra pair of workout pants just in case I decided to work out, which I did not. But anyway, so I used most everything that was in the suitcase. Um, I didn't need, like, I packed a little bit of extra as far as workout clothes, and um, I didn't need two things of yoga pants, but just to be safe, um, everything else I basically used. Then, in addition to the suitcase itself, um, I also had a backpack as my personal item, which I'll flip the suitcase, you can see. So this is, this is what the outside looks like. Pink rolling suitcase. Rockland is the brand. It has the wheels that swivel so it can go any direction, which I really, really liked. Um, and then I used a backpack as my personal item. And I tried to pack it pretty, um, not super full, because again, I knew I was gonna be coming home with a lot of stuff. And so it was pretty empty in the top so that I'd have room on the way home. But I had a water bottle that I took through security filled with water and then used while we were there. Um, this is my bag of toiletries liquids and I have a separate video showing what all is in there. Um, but I was able to get all of my liquids in it um, by using really small containers like contact cases to store stuff in. So watch that video if you wanna see more about that. Um, I had a pouch that had snacks in it. I ate most of them, so that's empty now. Um, 
These were vitamins, supplements, that sort of stuff. Um, I had just a light jacket that I could use on the plane or um, while we were there. My hand breast pump, I took that. A selfie stick, my computer charger, and then I had a canvas tote bag folded up in the bottom just in case I needed an additional bag. They gave us a bag at the conference so I had that as well, but just in case I wanted to have something, in case I needed one. I also had my laptop, some like airport paperwork, and a little notebook in case I wanted to take notes. So that was what was in the main compartment. I have a little zipper here where I kept just a chapstick and like the vitamins and supplements I was taking that day. Um, side pocket had all of my chargers, phone cords, that kind of stuff, other than my computer charger, another side pocket that has a scanner, which something essential oil stuff related, um, I Toby scanner. This pocket here had like my purse stuff, so sunglasses, wallet, keys, lip gloss, business cards, that kind of stuff. And then one more pocket where I had two ponchos because it was supposed to rain the day we went to the farm. I ended up using one, so I only have one on the return. But anyway, so that was it, and then that gave me plenty of space to bring stuff home from me. And yeah, so that's all I took. And I felt like I did a really good job um, not overpacking. And there was a handful of things I didn't use, but it wasn't a ton. And there wasn't anything that I felt like, oh shoot, I should have packed that and I didn't. So I was really proud of myself for packing in just a carry-on.